Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see iOS 17.4 overheating problem on iPhone. If you have updated to the latest iOS 17.4 and after that, if you're experiencing overheating issue with your iPhone, irrespective of the model, whether it is new iPhone 15 models or older iPhone models, then these troubleshooting steps will help you to fix the issue. At the same time, there is something I need to talk about, you know, regarding the overheating in general. For me in India, Right now, due to summer season, all our electronic appliances are started to see some warm temperature or little above warm temperature in our home. Due to the room temperature increase, which was much better a month before or two months before, and right now, due to the summer season, whenever I charge my iPhone, I will notice some quite strong temperature increase with my iPhone. And this happens normally even in any temperature during the fast charging feature, when it is enabled from zero to 80 percentage, we will see such warm or a little above warm temperature is totally normal but every time when you charge make sure that you are not using your iPhone at the same time that is very very important whenever you charge with your 20 watt adapter or higher watt adapter and when the phone fast charges using the phone continuously for using Facebook application YouTube or Instagram or watching any videos will be like adding more fuel to the fire so make sure to disconnect your iPhone and then you can use your iPhone whenever you're charging your device so as I said that related to the season that you are in right now you know that could affect the room temperature which in turn shows some overheating problem or above warm temperature problem as the iPhone body is full of metal and you'll be able to feel that temperature increase quickly then on the plastic phones make sure to wear a proper case if you are not already wearing one or if you are wearing something like the ultra thin case that i'm using it right now then it is possible to notice such heat when using it outdoor in summer temperature or while using it indoor with high room temperature that is absolutely normal and you have to let the phone cool down a little bit you know if you are seeing temperature warning which is in a rare case it may appear on your screen to let the phone cool down and then you can continue using your device the second important thing is after I weigh 17.4 overheating problem happens rarely on some users device due to some bugs related to the 17.4 in our last episode i have discussed about fast battery drain problem and suggested some fixes and for this iOS 17.4 overheating issue the two troubleshooting steps that you can follow is make sure to go to settings general and then scroll to the bottom tap on transfer or reset iphone and then perform a reset reset all settings this will help you to clear out any software related bugs or ui related bugs that is affecting your iphone performance and causing such overheating problem the second important troubleshooting step is observe for two days after performing all settings reset and if the problem still continues then you need to do ios restore once take a full backup of your iphone either to icloud or to a local computer via itunes or if you're using mac computer use the finder application to take a full backup and then perform a full ios restore and that will help you to fix the overheating problem because i'm using iphone 15 plus with ios 17.4 and my another phone is iphone 12 with iOS 17.4 running and so far I haven't noticed the such heating issue even for normal usage or while watching Instagram videos, reels, YouTube shots, etc. So the 17.4 is not the one to be blamed here. Sometime if you receive a broken update with some bugs related to it, then iOS restore is the final troubleshooting step. The all settings reset itself should be showing some difference related to iPhone overheating after the update. Otherwise, as a last troubleshooting step, you need to do the iOS restore and you know, it takes some time of course, but to prevent overheating problem, that is the final solution. I hope these suggestions helped you to fix iPhone overheating problem and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful iPhone, iPad, Mac related tips and tricks. Have a wonderful time.